A show about a bunch of high schoolers trying to build their own society. What could go wrong there? What is up, Netflix fans, and welcome back to my channel. I just woke up at 3 a.m. and binge-watched the entire series of The Society so I could talk about it today with you all. I need you guys in the comments section down below. Let me know, did you like this show? Did you not like it? Did it disappoint you? And are you going to be on board for a season two later on today? A review for The Hustle earlier today, a review for Lucifer season four, and last night, Detective Pikachu. A busy weekend, but it's all worth it at the end of the day. Let's talk about the society. So a group of teenagers struggles to survive after they're mysteriously transported to a replica of their wealthy town with no trace of their parents. And here's what I'll say about this show and this season specifically. It does not feel like an original Netflix series. It feels more like an original CW series. And if you're a fan of the CW shows in general, then I think you're going to like aspects of this show, but I could also see how fans of CW shows don't like this as much because the the ting angst and dramatic element of what people go through in high school, it is even more prevalent in this show than it is in a show like The 100, which this reminded me of before I watched it, then I watched it and realized it was a completely different thing. Now, for that audience, for the audience that I think is going to enjoy this show, if you are of this demographic, a teenager, or if you're in high school, then I think you're going to like this because you're going to be able to relate to the characters a bit more than I did. I didn't find the characters as relatable and not because, oh, I wasn't in the high school conversations or I wasn't on board for all of the romantic scenes going on between the characters and the relationships. No, it was more along the lines of I did not find the script that good. And there were so many lines of dialogue and conversations in the show that just felt completely forced. And it's so off-putting watching some of these characters deliver this dialogue because they look a lot older than a normal high school kid. And I always have this problem with movies and shows that cast people that are significantly older. And I know for a show like this, you have to because you can't show certain things with younger kids. But it's still off-putting for me, even though I do think the cast of the show is very talented. There are numerous actors and actresses in here that I have seen in other things and I think we will be seeing in the future because they are really good. The dialogue that they're given in the show, it's not the best, but that's not why you're tuned into a show like this. You're tuned in to see what is going to happen to this group of people, to see what this is all about. If you can get through the teenager issues and the teen angst aspect of the show, then I do think you're going to find elements of enjoyability, even if you don't like the show as a whole. But like I said, this is going to find its audience. I think it's going to get very popular with a certain demographic, and I do think it's going to receive a season two just because it's one of those Netflix shows you can't help but to watch and go, you know what? I feel like this is going to be a hit. It's not a hit for me. I did have issues and problems, and I will dive a bit deeper here in just a second. But if you're watching this and you're saying, well, he's being too harsh because he's a critic. Well, that's part of what critics do is they dissect the show or the movie, whatever they are watching. And I can't help but to feel like there are major issues in a show like this, but that's taking nothing away from the audience who enjoyed it. I'm not apologizing for feeling the way that I'm feeling. I'm just saying, if you like this show, I think you have a justification to feel that way because like I said, certain actors, very likely likable. Certain characters even. There were a few characters in this show that stood out to me. Even if I did not like them as characters, that's how they were written. I really liked the performances. Catherine Newton as Allie is one in particular that I really enjoyed. She's full of fun and happiness, but as the show progresses, her character starts to change. She is one of the few characters that had a very good arc to her where she was at the end of the season compared to where she was at the beginning. And it's funny because I just talked about her last night when I was talking about Detective Pikachu because she stars in that movie and then I saw her in the show I go ah I just watched you Toby Wallace as Campbell look you're gonna hate his character that's just how he is written to be but I will say he's a very good hateable character he plays that role well and you see him you think slimy and icky and you probably see him in real life and you're like oh I don't like that guy that's because he's so good at portraying that in this show, so that is a testament to his performance. See, there are things to like about this show, performances and elements, and then we get into the story. These kids are in an alternate version of their hometown, except this time, they don't have parents. So things are gonna get crazy. There's gonna be parties 
movies and 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 people in police cars chasing kids, cops and robbers. There's going to be games played, but there's also going to be very intense elements. There's going to be death. There's going to be drama. There's going to be a guy who walks in with a gun in a church. There are things throughout this show that are going to cause a lot of dramatic elements. Those weren't necessarily spoilers, by the way, because a lot of them happen in the first episode. But the issue that I had with certain elements in the dramatic regard is every time, not every time, but a lot of the times when something dramatic would happen, the characters, they would have like 10 seconds of, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. And then 10 seconds later, it's... And I get it. That's what teenagers do. They're always partying and causing trouble and being rebellious. I, I tried to be rebellious as a kid, but I was a nerd. But I understand why you incorporate that in a show like this. My issue with that is we did not have enough time to let the dramatic elements soak in. Every time something like that happened, they worry about it for just a second and then they're back to their everyday, well, not their everyday lives, but they're back to the lives that they have been living in this society. You see what I did there? But it just bothered me as someone who is critiquing a show like this because let's have enough time to let these characters develop. Let's have enough time to let that emotion set in. Some of these characters are dealing with things that are very integral to the story, but also important for their characters in general. You have people suffering health problems, you have deaf characters, you have characters all around the spectrum, but we don't really get enough time to deal with the individual problems because we're dealing with this major problem, and I understand that because it is a major problem that you have to push all of this other stuff to the side to deal with, but instead of focusing on the relationships and the, oh, I'm a teenager and I'm sad and I, I, gotta, I gotta conform to society and we have to create our own rules and, oh, we have to count the food and we have to be responsible, that's what they focused on instead of the actual health problems and people dying and intense moments and situations, and I'll give it to the directors and the people behind the scenes, they did set a lot of these things up nicely and they were executed in a decent way, but you didn't have enough time to allow these things to develop. And because of that, I did not respond to the characters and the situations as much as the show wanted me to. Once again, if you are relating to these characters, if you're relating not to the situation in general because it's out there, it's sci-fi-esque, if you will, but if you're relating to where they are, the age in their lives, then I think you will get a lot out of it. It's all according on where you're coming from as an audience member, as a viewer, and I respect the fact that some people are going to watch this and say, you know what, that character is going through this, or even the, the part that I hate the most, the relationship aspects and the drama within that, because it just wasn't written very well. But if you're going through something like that in your life, then you're going to like the situation, you're going to like the show more, and you're going to want to see a season two. See, that's the thing about film and television criticism is I can sit here and criticize the behind the scenes aspects and the storytelling and the filmmaking all the live long day, but if someone is going through a similar situation in their lives, if they can find a character to relate to. I never really did in this show, but if you can, I can't take that away from you. That is awesome, and because of that, I think you're going to find elements of the show that you're going to like. For me, at the end of the day, I watched The Society all the way through 10 episodes. It is very long. It did slow down at certain parts. I did roll my eyes multiple times throughout the series, but I still walked away going, you know what, I think that's going to find its audience, even if that audience isn't necessarily me. And like I said, 10 episodes, 45 to an hour long for each episode, so it is a very long series, longer than any other Netflix series that I've watched in the past few weekends, and I did feel the length. So it may not be a show that you binge all the way through to start off, but I think it is a show that if you have time, you're going to want to finish it because you're going to want to see how this plot line resolves. Where are their parents? How did they get in this situation? Is it really an alternate version of the town, or is there a deeper conspiracy going on? A lot of questions you're going to have after the first episode and you're going to want to finish it out to see where this story goes because it is an interesting story. It's just the characters and the writing and the dialogue did not capture me. And because of all of those things, I'm actually going to go fresh with this. I'm going to go 62% for the Society Season 1. It's not a season I'm going to rewatch, but I am interested to see where it's going to go in Season 2 and what's going to happen to some of these characters. But if you guys love this show, let me know in the comments below if you hated it, if you're on the complete opposite opposite side of the people that loved it. I want to hear that as well. I feel like this is going to be more of a divisive show on Netflix, but sometimes that's fun to talk about. It's fun to think about. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. Later on today, like I said, another review. Plenty of reviews and videos this weekend. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you so much for watching this, and I will catch you 
very soon.